Ooh, it's taking a stop here for a minute. I just checked the altimeter. I am now at 4,760 feet, which means I have gained. Started at 30, 1,500 feet in elevation, which means I've got less than a thousand to go. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's not bad. It is a road walk, but it's not bad. But it's steady uphill, let me tell you that. Probably at least a seven or eight percent grade. So it's still pretty, somewhat steep. Ooh, what a great day for a hike. Oh, the trails are nice. Temp is just perfect. Air smells so clean. Speaking of smell, I smell something that's amazing. Huh. Oh, just a great day. Well, I've made it to the top, just about ready to head back down. Hmm, something's riding on. Ooh, I smell something good. I think I'm going to have to hike back down there and check it out. We start with two pairs. Now, I'm using Bartlett pairs for a reason, and I'll tell you at the very end of the story. But all we're going to do is just take these two pairs, and we're going to core them out, cut them in half. I'll show you how El Deuterino does it. Look at that. Mmm. Let's do it again. All right, pretty simple. We just take our core over the top, push it down all the way in there. So it goes all the way through. Yank it out just like that. Then we give them a cut. We're just going to cut them right down the middle. Those are perfect. Let's start on our sauce. For our sauce, we're using some Frank's Red Hot. We're gonna just put in about a quarter of a cup. Close enough for government work. We're using some EVOO, a tablespoon or two. Perfect. Even got a clank out of it. Give it a nice mix. And then we're just going to paint the bottom of our pear. It's going to be so good. See, just like that. I'm going to finish our pears up, and then I'm going to put them on to the grill. While we wait for the grill to heat up, we're going to just make the, the toppings or whatever you want to call it that goes on the inside. So I'm just going to use, put some butter in there. Some blue cheese crumbles and just smash them up. That's going to be like the topping that goes on top of our pears. There we go. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's put these on the pears. It's going to load a little bit into each one. It's about perfect. Hopefully not too much. So I'm just going to try to load in like that. See how it works. Those look great. All right, let's put these on. To our grill. With our grill on medium heat, just gonna put these down and they're gonna cook away for about 8 to 12 minutes, I think. Alright, let's start on those pork chops. We have a pan that's over some heat right now. I did put some olive oil in there, but we're gonna take some of our pork chops. Now, normally I'd put some SPGO salt, pepper, garlic, onion on it, but this time we're gonna go with some Texas Trinity. That's right. Rick, our buddy Rick over at Galindo's sent us this. Each pork chop is just going to get the both sides. You hear that? It's a good thing. These are going to cook for about three to four minutes on each side. Then I'm going to yank them off. And then we're going to scrape up all that goodness that's on the bottom of that pan. All right, four minutes is down. Oh, those look great. Excellent. Let's give it another four minutes. I think it's time to remove it and go on to the next step. Pork chops have been on for a total of eight minutes. Looks great. Now we have this residual 
pork chop stuff down here. I'm just going to take some butter, throw it in there, some garlic. Excellent. You could do this with water, but about I'm going to use some chicken broth. And I'm going to put in about a quarter of a cup. Stir it all up. We're also going to add in a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Don't need a lot. Last but not least, about a quarter of a cup of honey. Give this a good stir. Boy, you can really smell it. The aroma is amazing. All right, we're going to let this stuff kind of cook itself down, and then we're going to put the pork chops back on. There's that aroma again. i got to find out where that's coming from. This has been reducing for about five minutes. And while it's not quite there, you know what? I think it's close enough. Put our chops back in, and they're going to soak up a lot of this extra juice and just flavor in there. We'll let these cook away, but I think it's time to check our pears out. Pears, wow. They've been on for about 12 minutes, and look at that. Just beautiful. They're warm. Man almighty. Those are beautiful. It's been two minutes. Just give these a flip. Oh, man. Oh, that aroma is just amazing. Very tender. Just soaking up that sauce. Man, I'm smelling the sweet aroma still. Ha <laughs> ha, I know where I'm at. I'm at the dude's kitchen to grill. Oh, I'm gonna see what he's got going on. Ooh, what a hike. Oh, oh, I smell pears cooking. Oh. So I think it's time to pull these off. Looks good. I think it's time to plate this up. So we have our pear. I mean, just look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks awesome. Our pork chop. Excellent. I really want to try these pears first. And the reason why is when I was a kid, my grandparents had several trees, like apple trees, peach tree, but their pear tree, their Bartlett pear tree was the best. So that's why I got the Bartlett pears and let's try them out. Kirk, what's going on, buddy? What are you doing here? Dude, I knew it was you. What are you cooking? Ooh. My dinner, Kirk. Oh, dude, that smells good. Thank you. Yeah, we got uh, pork chops and Bartlett pears. Everybody, I want you to meet my buddy Kirk. He's one of my very, very, very best friends. I've known him for years. And he actually has a channel called Kirk Floyd Adventures. I'll put a link right up here, right above his head. All right, and he needs some swag too. He needs to get rid of that. So anyhow, Kirk, can I offer you a beer or anything? Please, I'd love Excellent. one. Guys, make sure to check out his channel. Seriously. I'm going to open the fridge of fame for Kurt. Give him one of our finer beers, you know. Nice. He shoots, he scores. <laughs> Kirk, tell us a little bit about your channel. Well, I do all kinds of adventures from hiking to snow skiing to whitewater rafting. I love the bodyboard in the ocean. So it pretty much covers all action sports, but not the crazy ones. I'm not, you know, I like to have fun, but not. Gotcha. What was your biggest video so far? My biggest video was uh, hiking to the White Clouds Mountains. Okay. And actually before that, Mike, I... The dolphin, come on, you gotta have the dolphin. Dude, before that, I had the dolphin video that hit 285 and that really helped my channel. That's insane. That really helped my channel. Yeah, that one you did, what, four years ago? And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, took yes. off one day. You know, it sat there for four years and See, people, YouTube right there. You can have a video that sits there for four years, and then all of a sudden, turn around and go, uh, hey, dude, uh, this thing is like, my video from four years ago is like rocking. Kirk, let me make you some dinner. You look hungry. I am starving. All right. 
Get you out there, starving Marvin. Oh, ho, ho. Those pears look fabulous, dude. Oh, there you go. Thank you, you sir. Kirk, dig in. Tell me what you think. First, I'm going to try the pear. I'm going to see what it tastes like, dude. Okay. Mmm. The sweet with the blue cheese is amazing. Okay. I love it. Was that what you were smelling out there? That was. Okay. I was smelling the pears. I was smelling <laughs> pears. <laughs> now, let's cut into this. You know what? I'm going to tear into <laughs> Should have it. Should a bigger plate. Oh. Melts in your mouth. Okay. Melts in your mouth. Nice. Oh, I love. What did you put on here again? I put Rick's, or I said Galindo's Texas Trinity rub. Oh, I've got to try this. Oh, combo. Combo there time. Let's try them together. See if I can get them to stay on here. <laughs> there. There you go. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'll use my fingers. Mmm. Absolute perfection. Really? Going together. The sweet, okay. The pork chop is just amazing. So I actually tried this out the other day. And for me, uh, you're absolutely right. You got the blue cheese in the middle, but you got that Frank's on the outside of your pear. Okay. You don't mind if I do, do you? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> and I thought that was a great combination. That Texas Trinity on our pork chop and along with we sauteed it in the pan and you know you add a little bit of that sweet honey to it and we added a little bit of that red wine vinegar mm. to it oh so good but you put them together you get that little bit of tartness of both the texas style trinity and from the franks and then you get the sweetness from the blue cheese and butter and the honey oh, over the top fabulous all right fabulous thank you kirk anything else you'd like to say about your channel hey, you know, uh, I just did a hike before this. It smelled my. I just did a hike before this. Smelled the dude's food. <laughs> smelled pears, and I had to come. All right, I had to come. In reality, guys, it was a collab, and uh, I had this crazy idea the other day. And Kirk, Kirk, and I talk a thousand times a day, and he's like, "Hey, I'm going for a hike," and I thought, you know, I've got an idea, so. I think it worked out great. Tell me what you think about it. Make sure you check out Kirk's channel, Kirk Floyd Adventures, and tell him he needs some swag. He needs to get rid of that hat. <laughs> and uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Love you. Peace. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks for the food, dude. You're welcome, brother. All right. All right. Just look at that. Wheels on the bus go round and round. That looks awesome. Look at the color on this. Oh, looks great. Just looks absolutely great. All right. You know what? How about that? Now, that looks great. Let's dig into it.